do this is um, we fought on the school of the Holy Spirit. And let's get into the word of God tonight. Last week we talked about the five tendencies to hearing the voice of the Holy Spirit. And I believe I gave him those. Once I completed that particular session, I gave those notes to Sister Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you a chance to take a peek at it. You know I did. Amen. 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 This is the Maiden Ministry Training Center. And uh, here we love the Word of God, we teach the Word of God. And we believe that walking in the Word of God, doing what God has called us to do uh, as students of the Word, as believers of the Word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The devil hates the fact that you have a God, you have a comforter, and you have a counselor. Amen. He hates the fact that uh, you are in a place where you can receive divine direction as opposed to just walking around uh, relying on your own human abilities and consciousness. But thank God for the Father. Thank God for, the, for Jesus. Jesus told the disciples, he told the apostles, go with it in Jerusalem, for you shall receive the promise of the Father, which was the Holy Ghost. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. So, some of the things we're going to talk about tonight is on how to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. Last week again, we talked about on the five hindrances of hearing the voice of the Holy Ghost. We want to make sure that we do not move in those hindrances because I don't know about you, I need to hear from God. Amen. Amen. I said I need to hear from God. Do you need to hear from God? Yes, sir. Amen. You know, we want to come to a place that we do not limit God by thinking on how He leads you into your next season. How he lead you into your next season will be the same as he lead you, led you into your last one. Hello, somebody. Okay. I said, do not let it go by thinking how he leads you into your next season will be the same as he led you into your last one. The Holy Spirit will lead you into seasons. Do you hear me? A lot of times we rely on what took place yesterday or what took place last year or last month and we think that's the way God is going to move all the time. God is not going to move the same way all the time. Amen? Amen. And so we have to be open on moving in the way that God will have us to move open on what God tells us to do open in the area of divine direction. The Holy Spirit will teach us. He will speak to us. He will lead us. He will guide us. And we need to be open. Somebody say open. open. Amen. Now unfortunately, because when we come to a place where we open up our spirit to hear the voice of God, we have to be aware that there are other voices out there. Voices of deception, angels of light, the spirit of the world, huh? the spirit of a friend, the spirit of an enemy. Huh? We have these different voices. You know, Satan can use our best friend, use our mama, use our daddy, use, 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 use the co-workers. Use the spirit of the world. Use Tyler Banks. Hello, somebody. Amen. Huh? You, when I say Tyler, no one died against Tyler. I like Tyler. But use television. Use media. The Bible teaches that there are principalities and powers. 
that reside around with us. And there are princes in the air. There are demons in the air. You got airwaves, you got the media, you got the internet. Hello. Amen. And these particular principalities, they dictate to societies. They dictate systems. They dictate to environments. They dictate to cities and nations and communities. They dictate to uh, Inglewood and Compton. Hello, somebody. Huh? They dictate to Hollywood and they dictate to New York and Brooklyn and to Chicago. That different principalities are all over. And different nations and different cities. You can go from one city to another city and sense a difference in the atmosphere and the environment, the shifting. Even in our city, you can leave and leave Inglewood and go up to Beverly and see and sense a big difference. Huge. Huge difference, right? Amen. You can be in, in the suburbs and, and, and cross over and come into come into to the city of Chicago and you can sense, man, that there's just a little bit more radical out here. You know, I always say sometimes suburbs can make you soft if you're not careful. You got to stay on the edge in the spirit. You know, people go to suburbs because there's grass and not glass. Hello, somebody. But my point is, is that there are principalities that are dictating, dictating, trying to release a level of influence voices. And the Holy Spirit wants to dictate and wants to release his divine influence upon our lives. And we have to be open on hearing the voice of God, hearing the voice of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. Turn to the book of Revelation. Chapter 2. Revelation. Look at 2 verse 7. It says, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. Let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. The Amplified Bible reads it this way. He who is able to hear, big difference. Not he who, it's not just he who has an ear, but he who is able to to hear, meaning that you have an ability to hear. Amen? You have to train yourself to hear God. You have to train yourself to be still and know the voice of God. To discern and to detect the voice of God. You have to train yourself to 